Oh my goodness, everybody. I am so excited. I hope you are too, because it's time to select two awesome winners for my birthday giveaway. Hello everybody, Mr. Spontaneously Disney here. So excited to be bringing you another video. And today I have a special one because my birthday giveaway is now closed and I am so excited to be announcing two very special winners. Yes, two winners will be selected in today's video and I'll be hand selecting them from this spooky uh, Snow White Poison Apple. <laughs> Just one bite, but this poison apple is not gonna be full of poison because two lucky people are going to be winning a $50 Disney gift card. But first, there is so much to announce. So much has been happening in the past couple of days. Um, oh my goodness, guys, I don't know where to begin. I'm just, uh, so much to share with you all. I'm so excited to just, oh my gosh, I, I, um, so in case if you didn't notice, I'm pretty sure you know this by now, but, um, I hit 1,000 subscribers and I have, I can't even fathom that right now, honestly. I, it's been, it's been a day and I honestly just can't even fathom because... A thousand subscribers, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of accounts that are subscribed to me. And I never thought that I would make it this far. I never thought that anyone would be interested in watching me. So in today's video, um, before I get too much into it, I want to share with you all why I started my YouTube channel, uh, what I have planned for this YouTube channel, my goals, um, and what I hope that my channel does for all of you. Because I don't think I've really gone in depth with that. I know I might have done a little bit in my get to know me video, uh, but I, that was mostly just general stuff about me and Disney and Disney facts. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a little bit more why I am on YouTube, why am I doing this? I probably should have done this sooner, but I thought there's no better time than now. Um, so let's get right into that before I select the winners because I like to do something before I select the winners because I, I want my videos to be quality, not quantity. So instead of just a short video I select winners, I want to just share this a bit. So guys, actually a good story with why I started YouTube. It, it, YouTube has actually been always a dream for me, um, but I'm not the most creative person. I'm, I'm horrible with art. I'm not good at the arts kind of classes. I can't act for my life. I can't sing for my life. I can't draw for anything. Hence in my Funko fantasy video, I did not draw because nobody needed to see those drawings. Art was the hardest subject for me in high school. <laughs> it was literally the hardest thing, but um, yeah, I'm not good at it. So when it came to YouTube, I, seen, I see all these famous YouTubers. I watch them, I love them. And I just think I would never do that. I would never get into that because I'm not good at editing. I don't know the first thing about editing. I don't know why people would watch me because literally like my life is boring. Like, but I, before, like, you know, you make your life what you do with it. It's as exciting as you make it. I've learned so much since I began in YouTube and I've learned so much from so many people. But what really got me into YouTube it was of course Disney, and of course my love for running. My two biggest loves in, in my life right now. Um, because I would always go to Disneyland. Like I mentioned, I've been a AP holder since, since 2000, like not 2011, or, um, but I've been an AP for a long time. Can't think the exact year right now, but always loved Disney. And I've always thought about vlogging at Disneyland, um, but nothing really told me you need to start until I got into my social club, the Rum Runners. I love them all so much, but a friend, a couple of friends of the Rum Runners who also run and are big Disney fans, they would travel all the way from Oregon, like three, four times a month, like once a week from Oregon to go to Disneyland and they would vlog. And I loved them. I got to know them. Their name, their channel name is No Strings Running. They make amazing videos. I love their videos. I always go back to them every once in a while and always watch them because they aren't making videos currently. They haven't made videos in a while because they're doing awesome things in Oregon. They are 
building their own house from scratch. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to when they finish because they are doing everything by hand. Amazing thing. So they're focusing on their part of their life right now. And I'm so excited to see them again back at Disney very soon. But I will definitely link their channel down below because you have to check out No Strings Running. So we were hanging out. I got to know them over time when I joined the Rum Runners and all that stuff. They got to know me. We're awesome. We're friends. And they, I would always watch them blog. I would always just see how awesome it was. And then I'd watch their videos and like, and I would even be in their videos. I was in their videos like twice. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in the video. <laughs> like I never thought I could be on camera. <laughs> and I, the gimbal, I don't know if I mentioned my gimbal. I think I think I showed it to you. I mean, if you've seen my vlogs, you've seen my gimbal and now I have a tripod. Um, they got a new gimbal and I was, just starting on my phone, like with just my hand and my phone, going through Disneyland and just trying it because they were like, you should try it, Jacob. Like, cause like if you love like Disneyland and you love watching our videos, you should, I, we definitely want you to try it. And I, I did and they inspired me to do it. Um, Steve and Leia is their name, by the way. I love them so much, Steve and Leia. Um, they're just the nicest people ever. And then they got a new gimbal and they just, and they were like, we need, we need someone to take this from us. Like we need someone like we're giving this one away. And then, and they looked at me and I was like, oh, I'm like, like, I mean, if you want, I could buy it from you and like, that'd be awesome. And they're like, oh, give us a second. And they came back like a minute later and they're like at Disneyland, by the way, this is at Disneyland. And they're like, Jacob, you have your YouTube channel. We want you to have this. And I was like, no, I can't take this. And they just gave it to me and they're like, because they, they, they're just amazing people. I love them so much. They just gave me their older gimbal. It's in perfect, it's in, to me, it's in perfect condition. And I took my channel seriously from there. I started vlogging at Disneyland. This is back when Pixar Pier was just being built and it still wasn't open yet. And I ran with it. And that's when I started vlogging seriously. If you go back to my older videos, I know I don't have a lot of videos on here, but if you go back to my older videos, you can see my first vlog when it was just my phone in my hand and little vlogging. I didn't even know that you had, there's a difference between portrait style and the long style. <laughs> like, I didn't even know that. And they taught me, like, they, they, I got into LumaFusion, which is the editing app that I use. They told me how to use the gimbal and it was just awesome. I have learned so much since then. This was like two, three years ago. And yes, I'm kind of been on and off YouTube because life happens. I felt like different things, you know, like nothing I have to get too much into detail with, but been on and off. And then COVID happened. And before that, I got out of a previous relationship, I guess, of, that kind of took a toll. Um, and I really, just didn't have a feel for Disney at a certain point. But then when COVID happened and then July happened, I, I mean, we were all in quarantine. So I was like, you know what? Like, I don't have any other hobbies to do. I need to get back into YouTube. Even though Disneyland's closed, I need to get back into this. It's just something that I need I need to do. And I feel like I, lo I left it for a while. So that's why all of a sudden you see like videos from like months beforehand. And then all of a sudden you see I'm back in July. A lot has happened in every time I took a break, but I promise you, all of you guys, I am here to stay. And I'm very happy to say that because I really have just grown to love making videos. And I just look forward to the day when Disneyland reopens and I'm gonna still make home videos. That's what is so awesome that yes, it's horrible with what's happening with COVID, but because of COVID and we're quarantining and staying home, I've learned how to make videos at home and I'm so happy with that, with unboxings, unwrappings, sharing Disney stuff and so much new stuff to learn. I'm still learning a lot. I don't know everything. I am horrible at editing. I'm still, I've learned a lot. You've seen how I edit pictures, how I add things. I've added new things and words to my videos, pop up certain things. I'm learning all of that still. I have such a long way to go guys. And I'm so excited to do that. Um, but I, oh my goodness, guys, oh my goodness. I, I just, I have so much to learn. And for all of you, um, the challenges weren't that hard. It's just, this all this is all magic. And I'm just so happy to be here doing it. The Also, I just, I hope to only spread magic and 
give magic and just give it back because I've all I mean I don't like to ask for things but when I ask for someone to possibly watch a video like on my Instagram because I'm very active on Instagram I don't expect something for nothing if you have a channel I am so I would be more than happy to help you out in some way which is why every Sunday for the past month I've been doing shout outs on Instagram. It's easier to do shout outs on Instagram, I think. And I feel like people really appreciate that, that little help, that little support, because it just takes two seconds to do. And I feel like all of us as smaller channels, we could all use that support and that, that, that something that says, somebody's out there watching me, somebody supports me. I think it goes a long way. So I just, I, pro I just do that because I want to. I don't expect anything in return. I just, it's just amazing because I feel like if all of us are like that, then the world will be a much better place, more magical. So I think that's awesome. And I just want to give more shout outs and shout outs on my YouTube because there's just so many great channels. I love watching all of you guys. Not just you watch me, I want to support you also. So I think, I think on my future videos for future setting, I think I will be doing one or two shoutouts at the end of my future videos. That way I get introduce you to more channels and you get to know more people. Um, but if I, it's just the only thing is, it's so hard to get to all of you. I want to support everybody, but truth be told, I am subscribed to, I don't know if I should mention the number, to a big number of you. <laughs> and if, I apologize if I can't get to every single one of you. I try my best to watch YouTube every day at least. I try to at least watch five to what? Five to 15 videos a day. Um, but hey, TV exists and I still like TV. I think it's all safe to say that we all love TV still. <laughs> so again, I think I'm kind of apologizing a little bit if I don't get to you, if it seems like, oh my God, he doesn't care because he's lying. I mean, I just want to let you know, I try my best to get to all of you. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, that's like a goal for my channel is like to spread magic, be magical. Hopefully all of you just enjoy that magic. And also like when Disneyland reopens, expect vlogs because that's originally like I what I was on here for is for vlogging and then COVID hit. <laughs> but uh, so much more magic stuff to be coming. And I'm so happy that I am on a consistent schedule for all of you and you guys, it seemed to enjoy a consistent schedule. I've noticed that has made a change to my channel because I used to only post once a week and it was just a random day. And uh, yeah, and I've also learned about hashtags and, and how to actually make a good description and add links. And you see my outro, I used to do my own outros um, with, with the video links and stuff, but now I have like an outro that's actually fits on a real video. So that's cool. But yeah, guys, I, that's pretty much my story and why I got started on YouTube and I try my best to share why I'm on YouTube, but we're all here for the most, for the magic of Disney, I'm pretty sure. But so much more to come. Thank you all so much for being here. I can't tell you how appreciative, appreciative I am. I can't say it enough. Like when I, when I saw I hit 1K, I was at work. I was at work when I saw that, or I just got home. I was speechless because this is a, this is something I've always said. I've always wanted to do this. I never thought I could, but it, it's true what people say. All you need to do is start. Maybe a little bit of inspiration, but anyone can do this. If you're out there and you want to make a YouTube channel and you're not sure about it, just do it. It's all about just starting. Other channels have said it. It's all about starting and it doesn't matter if it's good. Like I said, you can go back to my first video, it, I mean, honestly, it was trash, <laughs> honestly, but it was my trash, Forky reference, can I get Forky here? Um, so it was something that I made and yes, it wasn't that good. Yes, it wasn't amazing, but it's something that I made. I never thought I could do it and I posted it and I felt accomplished. In every video I make, I feel accomplished, even if it's not perfect. Yes, yeah, sometimes I cringe at something that's not perfect, but you post, you learn, you get you get the reactions you get, and you just keep going. I can tell you, like I said, I'm still learning a lot. 
but I only hope to keep getting better. And I know if you're just starting on your YouTube channel, keep going. Please keep going because it's an amazing journey. That's for sure. Okay, so before I start crying and before this video gets way too long, let's get to the giveaway winners because I need to end that abruptly because I was about ready to start getting a bit emotional and <laughs> we do not need to see that for sure. But yes, let's select two winners for my birthday giveaway. And if you do not win today, don't worry. There is definitely going to be a giveaway right around the corner because again, like I mentioned, I will be doing a thousand subscribers giveaway, which is going to be ultimate because I never thought I'd reach that number and I have to celebrate in some way. And the way I celebrate is by doing a giveaway. So we'll get into that later, uh, later on because one giveaway at a time, guys. So we had, I believe, 60 participants, about that number. So it's way above 50, so it's gonna be two amazing winners. So many amazing people entered. So many people that I want to win. But again, I'm not rich. If I were rich, everybody in that part, everybody that participated would have gotten a gift card. But unfortunately, we're not all rich. <laughs> so let's get started with the first winner. Oh my god, I am so excited. Take a look at what we have here. It's pretty much the exact same as my last giveaway where I selected two people. Uh, did the exact same way. I just figured just use the same thing because it's Halloween. Like, come on. So I am going to close my eyes, guys. I'm going to randomly select one. One only. And I got one. We got one. And this is the first winner, guys. First winner. Oh my goodness who is going to win. If I can open this up, we have the first, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, the first winner of the $50 Disney gift card for my birthday giveaway is Louisa Ruby. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I love Louisa. I love her channel. We have been working on some fun stuff for future videos. Her and a bunch of other friends in the YouTube community. I'm so excited that she, I'm excited for so many people that I want to win, but it's so fun when you just know somebody that, that you know somebody who's your, like, you, it's exciting. <laughs> um, Louisa Ruby, congratulations, you are the first winner. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into the second winner, guys. Oh my God, that was, oh my God. So we have the second piece that I will pick up here in three, two, one. We got it. And who is going to join Louisa in winning a $50? Life joyfully done. Oh my goodness, another amazing Disney YouTube pal. <laughs> oh my goodness, you have also won a $50 Disney gift card. Congratulations, ladies. You both have won a gift card. I'm so excited for both of you. Um, guys, Thank you so much for participating in my giveaway. Having seeing all the comments, all the birthday comments, that just seeing that love and care, it means a lot. It really means a lot. And like I said, I wish I could just give something to everybody. I really wish I could. But it, um, but yeah, look forward to my next giveaway. I'll be announcing that in a couple of weeks. I want I want to do a giveaway this month, but it's just too soon from this giveaway. So I'll be doing definitely the thousand thousand subscriber giveaway in November. Um, but guys, let's go ahead and get to closing out this video because I know this video has been way too long. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you all for the magic and spreading the magic and staying spontaneous. The staying spontaneous. I. That's something else I need to talk about. That's for a later video, I guess. Um, but I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for everything <laughs> again. Um, comment down below, letting me know what you want to see in future videos. Tell me whatever you want to hear. Follow me on Instagram, also Mr. Spontaneously Disney. Always love hearing from any of you guys. Love you. I love all of you. Um, so uh, share with a friend and please subscribe to my channel for more content. So much more content is coming your way every week. I post two to three times a week. Um, and yeah, I hope all of you have a very magical day and always remember to stay spontaneous. Bye everybody.